Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today we are gonna tackle the Margo by the row. How much does this bag actually weigh? What does actually fit into this bag? How sensitive is this smooth leather? Is this bag suitable for every day? And how would it look in my everyday outfits? So I am gonna style this bag and you will see it in the cutaways. Everything in the cutaways, by the way, will be linked down below. And also I am 170 centimeter tall as a frame of reference. I have also found really good affordable alternatives for this bag, which will be linked down below. And also this bag comes in so many different variations, you know, colors, sizes, and leather types. And I will link those that I am eyeing down below for you as well. By the way, before we start, thank you so much for all your lovely questions on Instagram, because I asked you if you would like to know anything about this bag. And I received so many questions. I will try to answer all those questions and more in this video. And the reason why my uh, Birkin 30 is uh, sitting over there, I can't believe I can I say that actually, my Birkin <laughs> is sitting there, is uh, because I'm gonna compare these two a little bit with each other. Because this bag has been referred many times on TikTok as uh, the new Birkin. So we will talk about that. I will give you my two cents about uh, that. But first thing first, this is the Margot by the row. By the way, the color, I'm so sorry, the color, today we have a gloomy day. I have the studio lights on. And the true color, the beautiful color of this bag can't be captured by the camera today. Uh, I'm seeing it in the viewfinder and it's terrible. So the color you see probably on your screen is not the color that I have. I am seeing right here in real life. This color is called cognac. It leans more towards brown, burgundy. It is a beautiful color. It comes with uh, gold hardware. And the craftsmanship of this bag is impeccable, stunning stitching. There's nothing that doesn't look perfect, honestly. This is Margot 12, and the width of this bag measures 32 centimeters. The height measures 22 centimeters. And, and as you can see, these two are very similar in size, right? In terms of leather, this one is Togo. And as many of you know, Togo is a heavy leather. I will tell you in a second how much they weigh, because I have weighed them, but just by carrying them like this, I'm telling you, you don't uh, feel much of difference. And this one weighs 860 grams. This one weighs 670 grams. So, the weight difference is not big and also you don't feel the difference that much. And also bear in mind, Togo is a heavy leather, right? And this one is in a smooth lamb leather, is very smooth and inside uh, it is lined with canvas, so cotton. These bags used to come also with a suede lining which were much heavier than they are now. So canvas is of course much lighter and also in terms of hardware this one of course has got much more hardware heavier hardware so these are things that you need to take into consideration by the way if you enjoy these kind of videos please make sure you are subscribed to my channel i would love to have you here for my future videos and yes thank you so much and honestly i don't think this is the new birkin but I absolutely adore this bag. This bag is so beautiful. And honestly, if I didn't have this bag, I would get this one in a blink of an eye. I, I love this bag. So beautiful, so beautiful. Maybe I get this bag at some point, but not in this um, size. I would get it a size bigger because, you know, they both serve the same purpose for me. So I would get it in size 15 or even 17 because I love this kind of bags to be big. Talking about sizing, this one comes with a shoulder strap, which I am not going to attach. It's not adjustable, by the way. I'm not going to adjust this because as I mentioned before, this bag is going back. I just bought it to see for myself, is it worth the hype? And uh, I'm telling you, it's a good one. 
Anyway, I'm not gonna adjust uh, the strap uh, because I don't want to do anything to this bag. I'm afraid uh, of it because the leather is extremely soft and prone to scratches. We get to that in a second. But just for you to see, this one would sit around this area. So uh, right on my hip, if I were to uh, carry it on my shoulder. Having said that, this is not a type of bag that I would like to wear this way on my shoulder because as you can see, the base is quite bulky, right? By the way, the base measures 18 centimeters. And I don't think this would look good on me, you know, uh, on my shoulder or even uh, crossbody. But this is not the way I would wear this bag. And so frankly, this uh, shoulder strap, I, I'm not sure if I would use it. So it is good to have the option just in case you need it. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't need it. So let us talk about the leather because this is something that many people wanted to know. Is the leather um, sensitive? And the answer is yes. The leather of this bag is very sensitive and it will scratch easily. But having said that, this kind of leather I think would age beautifully and the scratches would only add to the character of the bag. It, they would make the bag cooler and uh, more interesting if you ask me. So if you are afraid of scratches and I mean it's a lot of money you know you have to be very brave to embrace the <laughs> scratches right. Um, so if you don't like scratches, I would suggest you go with a grainy leather or even suede. I mean, I don't mind the scratches, but there are bags that I rather have them without the scratches. For example, my Alaya heart shape bag. I adore this bag. I use this bag too much, to be honest with you. Um, and as you can see, there are a few scratches on this one. One is very deep. With these kind of bags, with structured bags, you would want uh, to avoid the scratches, right? But with bags like this, I think scratches, scratches, yeah, look even uh, cooler. As you can see here, you can see some scratches, right? And by the way, that was not me. <laughs> I didn't do that. The bag came like this. I assume this bag is very, very sensitive and it um, scratches just easily, right? And inside you have one, two, three compartments. One is with a zipper and two are open. Um, Another thing about this bag that you should also bear in mind, as you can see, the opening is not as big because these two sides are going inwards, right? And make the opening of the bag smaller than it is. This can be somewhat cumbersome, but it also gives you a bit more security in the same time, right? As you can see here, I have to open the buckles left and right to make room for the 13 inch iPad. And I had no chance to get my 16 inch laptop in any of these bags. Another thing I had at the back of my mind was the resale market price for the Birkin, which is considerably, of course, higher than the one for the Margot by the Row. Now, I would never suggest or recommend buying bags as investment pieces because there are much better ways <laughs> to invest your money in than buying bags, right? But I'm not gonna lie, having the assurance just in case I decided to sell my bag is good to know that I would get uh, my money back and uh, maybe even more. And um, also, many people have asked me if this bag can go over the shoulder. I will also give you the measurement of the handle drop uh, and uh, maybe insert it on the screen. So it does go over your shoulder, but bear in mind that I have only this shirt, this very thin silk shirt on. If you are thinking of carrying this bag on bulky jackets or coats, that won't work because as you can see, there is not much room here, right? So in this case, you may uh, want to uh, get uh, this bag in a bigger size, 15 or 17, because those you can uh, carry on your shoulder 
easier than this one anyway. The quality of this bag is beautiful and you can feel the quality. So, and I think you can also see the quality, but not uh, through branding because you only have uh, here and the row embossed uh, here. On the other side, it doesn't say row, the row, and also on the buckles ever so slightly, you see that um, the branding is visible here. But other than that, and also inside it says the, the row made in Italy. Other than that, no branding, no um, obvious branding. But this bag is still very recognizable for those who know row very well. Also, you can't carry the Birkin on your shoulder because the handle uh, drop is a bit shorter than this one. So is this bag worth the hype? <sighs> this is the big question, right? By the way, if you are into, obviously you are, <laughs> into um, luxury bags, designer bags, but also good quality, high street fashion, please, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel because this is what my channel is about and I would love to have you here for my future videos as well. Thank you so much. Uh, is this bag uh, worth the hype? I think this bag is beautiful. And uh, to be honest with you, I would get this bag if money were no issue at all, uh, but I can't justify buying two very expensive bags. This one is about um, 3,000 euro more expensive still. I know it's really, I hope my parents are not watching this video. Uh, and also I have to say, this one is much more difficult to get your hands on than this one. And there is sometimes a game to play, the Hermes game. This is uh, that with Hermes. And I know I owe you a video about the story behind this bag. And to be honest with you, I have filmed that one, but I was so nervous. I don't know why, but I was so nervous. And watching that video is painful even for me, let alone for you. So I may need to, refilm uh, that video uh, or film uh, parts of it and put them together. But that video will come, I promise, will come soon. Another good thing about this bag is uh, comparing it with uh, Birkin, it is much more accessible. Uh, at the moment, it may be a bit difficult to get your hands on it, but it um, seemed to come back in stock. So I will uh, make sure to keep my description box links uh, up to date. So I will make sure to check every now and then if uh, new versions of this bag are back in stock and uh, have them linked down below. But yes, this bag is difficult to get at the moment because it is hyped, but if you keep your eyes on it, uh, I'm sure you will get it eventually. By the way, if you own this bag, please uh, let me know and let us know in the comment section below, how do you get along with this bag? It would really be interesting to know how this leather ages. I, I really believe that this bag uh, will age beautifully because the leather is a smooth and you get, of course you get, as I mentioned before, scratches on it, but I think um, it just makes the bag uh, cooler and edgier and just uh, uh, puts your stamp on it, you know? It uh, gives the bag character, as I mentioned before. So other than that, I really hope I have covered all the uh, questions you had. If you still want to know more about this bag, please let me know in the comment section below. And other than that, thank you so much for being here today with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please again, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you soon on my next one. Till then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.